After that huge cull of millions of mink on farms in Denmark, there were fears COVID-19 might appear in mink farms around the world. Well, now it's beginning to happen. An outbreak among workers has been declared on a mink farm in British Columbia's Fraser Valley. No cull of the small mammals is planned here, but as Robin Gill explains, the cases are being closely watched. There are about a dozen mink farms in British Columbia. At one location, there's been an outbreak involving eight workers. And there's a reason to worry. Some mink will test positive but really show no symptoms at all and seem fine. Uh, others will be sick and some will die. And so, of course, it's a concern to the farmers to try to protect their herds. The mink live in confined spaces, densely packed together, and can pass the virus on to each other quickly. But when the disease goes beyond that... It's a bigger breeding ground. Going forth and back between animals and humans is uh, another opportunity for the virus to mutate at a higher rate. Take a look at what happened in Denmark, the largest exporter of mink. The industry was forced to cull all 17 million of its animals. After 12 people were infected by a mutated strain of the virus, it had passed from humans to the mink and then back to people. If there was a new strain that originated somewhere else, then the world would be, you know, potentially exposed to a new virus. In Canada, there are 60 mink farms stretching from Newfoundland and Labrador to British Columbia. The business, worth about $400 million annually, exports about a million mink, mostly to China and Russia, to be made into apparel. The industry doesn't believe a cull is necessary in Canada. You don't have that concentration and the risk of contagion and passing from one farm to another is much, much reduced. The owner of the BC farm is in isolation, as are the workers. The health ministry is investigating to see what course of action needs to be taken next. Robin Gill, Global News, Vancouver.